G'day, it's Ron from Elfshop Design. In this video, I'm gonna build an outdoor firewood storage rack. Our house is wood heated, so we've got to store a fair bit of firewood, and we've got a pretty decent storage area up the back of the block. The problem is, on a freezing cold winter's night, nobody really wants to walk up there and get more wood. So what I'm gonna do is build a smaller second storage area just outside the back door. I've got these galvanised pipes lying around up here. I'm going to try and use them if I can. They're 32 mil in diameter. I reckon they should be good to lie the timber down on. Which is about 400 mils wide. This is what I'm thinking. I'm going to use 35 mil square hollow section for the frame. I've got a six metre length that I've been tripping over, so I can't wait to chop that up. I might make corner gussets for extra strength and tabs to dynabolt it into the concrete. I'll use five of those galvanised pipes for the base. That'll allow the rain to drain through. To give this some form as well as function, I'll add some reclaimed timber down the sides and use core 10 panelling above the timber. I made an old gate a while back with wire mesh that I don't need anymore, so I'll chop up that and use the mesh along the back. That'll prevent the firewood from leaning up against the house. The design might change a bit, but we'll see how we go. this project I'm mixing up different colours of materials. For example the grey gal pipes, which I'm just painting in primer since the paint will probably scratch off. There's also the timber and the core 10 sections. For this reason I'm going to do a bit of painting as I go. It just cuts down on time because otherwise I'd have to mask everything off and paint it later. The rail spike heads are just a bit of decoration. I'm hoping they'll tie together nicely with the core 10 panels once they develop a nice patina. These weren't completely perpendicular, so I'm just using some straps to pull them in. Get them nice and straight before I weld it up.
I'm reclaiming some old fence palings for the side panels. You can see our other firewood storage in this shot. I built this a few years ago. It's got a clear roof to let the sun and light in, which helps dry the wood and keep the redback spiders out. The firewood rack's going to sit right outside the back door and we go in and out of there all the time so it's worth putting a little bit of effort into the visual appeal. I'm adding some Cortan panels on each side. I've run out of time on this project so I'm just going to freehand a really simple design then cut this out with a plasma cutter. My plasma cutter is only a small one but it'll go through this high tensile steel pretty well. Plasma cutters need real dry air, so I've got a water track at the compressor end and also at the end of the hose, I've got one here as well. Spraying this with some sodium hydroxide mold killer, try and get them to rust up quicker overnight. Mold killer did an okay job, but next time I'll make sure I've got some vinegar on hand. I'm drilling holes in the core 10 to secure it by welding through the core 10 and into the mold steel behind. That should reduce any potential cracking that can occur between the mild steel and the high tensile. Well that pretty well wraps up this little project. Hope you got something out of it. The next one's looking like a lot of fun, so please subscribe. That'll help motivate me to keep pushing out one project per month. Cheers. <laughs>